Welcome to the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Our match today is Jasmine Ocean from Austria versus Olivia Szyprenska from Poland. We're playing nine ball, a race to seven, alternate break. Three object balls must go past the head string for a legal break. Three consecutive fouls by the same player's loss of game. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. Sopreska has won the, first, won the lag, and she's breaking from the right side, right bottom. Doesn't want to foul the break. She's got. Here's the same thing as I watched last week. Two balls in every time. I can't even make a ball on the break, and they're making two balls. Three, actually. Let's see. Yeah, she made three balls. <laughs> I've made three balls on a break in 20 years. All right, so Sprenzica has a shot to cut it in or play safe. She can go for this and go straight up and down the table with straight top. Just cut it in. Cue ball goes straight up and down the table and leave it right on the five or the three or whatever that is right there. She overcut it. That was only the danger of that shot problem. She probably couldn't have missed it if she would have shot it, cut it to the rail a little bit. So Jasmine Ocean has a relatively easy shot. But these shots are, are not as easy as they look when the, when the object ball is sitting in the hole like this. You actually want to put a little draw on this sometimes to make it get come back. Because sometimes when you follow it with straight top, well, you have to hit it extremely thin to get it to come back. She did a good job getting it that far out. But these rails are real responsive too. Some tables that shot's a lot harder on. She landed okay. She can just shoot and stop, it looks like, on the overhead. And then she's got a perfect angle on the six ball when she stops. She's cueing low. Stop right there. And she'll put a lot of right bottom on this and just draw it, force it to the rail a little bit. Go just below center with right. I can see better here exactly what she's got to do. Go just below center with right, stun to the rail, with a little bit of right, bounce off. She wobbled that one a little though. And she under hit it too, I thought. She should have came down table way more and had the angle going to the rail. See, this is really weak. If you play shaped like this in some areas of the world, you'll get broke, I'll tell you that. These long straight in shots, they get, well you can't draw the ball. But you can draw it real easy on this equipment over there. So they can get out of a lot of bad position plays. So she'll just draw back. So Florida, you can't even do that right there. You might have to go forward. All right, she'll just draw back again or go forward and bounce off and, and come straight back down the table. Yeah, she can follow this too. But this table draws so easy. My table doesn't play anything like this table. My table plays like it's sitting beside a swimming pool. You talking about a difficult table sitting beside a swimming pool. <laughs> On my table, you'd have to follow this all day. You couldn't draw it. No way you could draw this. You'd go right in the side pocket probably. <laughs> I would follow this regardless. And she's following it. You can see she's sitting higher on it. That's a good view with the camera. The left top on it, come over for the nine ball. She's overhead it though. Right on the 50 yard line, they call this one. This is the kind of shot that'll get your attention no matter how old you are. It's really a tricky shot. You gotta really pay attention or you'll miss it. But it's not too hard. She'll just put straight ball, no spin. Good shot. These pockets are nice too. So some pockets that would have been tough on. Jasmine's one nothing. Ocean's leading one nothing, breaking from the right side. She didn't make anything, I don't think. That's the beauty of the break. Olivia made three balls on the break, she didn't make anything. And the other girl didn't hit them as hard as she did. <laughs> oh, that's funny. She didn't leave a good shot. She left the safety. I think she can nip the one, try to play it behind the two real slow. Sorry. Nope, she's gonna try to 
bank it back down the table. I don't know. I never. I thought she could have hit something slow, but I guess she couldn't. <clears throat> Sometimes you can't do anything on the safety, but try to leave a some kind of shot that where they can't get out. Maybe. It looks like she's got another. It's a long shot. It's not that difficult. All she's got to do is stop right there or draw back a little if she can. She elected to stay right there and take a little tougher shot on the two. She's got to draw this to the side rail at right bottom. A lot of right bottom. And bounce back out in the middle of the table and shoot the three between the four and the nine. Or she can stay closer to the rail over there and take a... A longer shot on the three, I thought for sure. I like that over here. That's not a bad play. Because it takes the element of snooker in yourself with that pink four ball in the middle of the table out of play. But this shot is a lot trickier than if she would have been more aggressive and drew the ball back more back to the middle of the table where she would have shot the three between the four and the six. But she, this is not too bad, though. She can just roll this in and come back out and shoot the four in the same pocket. That's what I would have tried to do, but she's got, actually got, she's going the wrong way on this shot, I think, yeah. That's why I, I didn't like trying for the side. She tried to feather that one and land just right past the six. But now she's in no man's land, kind of. You could bank this in, cross it, and come down relatively easy. She actually, she's not that far going the wrong way. I can see it from there. She almost can get out of it, but a lot of left top. I think she can. No, she never could. That was ill-advised, that, that play right there. Oh. Now it's either a kick or unless she can see the edge of the ball to play safe. She's going to try to kick the ball in. Or clip it and bank it to the rail and send the cue ball down table. This is not a bad play. As dry as this table is, you can, there's a lot of uh, avenues on shots. Oh, God, she clipped it and scratched on the side. Here's a chance for Sprinska to uh, level the match up. Ball on hand on the five ball. She'll put it at a little angle, either way, going either way. She's gonna bank off the bottom row. She'll put left top and come down the table. Straight down the table like that. You amateurs always use your spins and put the ball at an angle when you got ball on hand. And she can either stop right there or bounce off the I think she can stop right there and keep a perfect angle on the side. Yeah. A little right bottom she put on that one. Now she could put left top on this and go two rails or one rail. She's gonna go one rail with left top around the nine like that. I just finished playing tennis. I'm a little crisper, I think, with my commentary after I play tennis. What a great game tennis is. Now she'll hit this with some left. I don't know if she'll draw it or roll it. She'll stun it a little like that with left and bounce off. She's going to land on the almost the 50-yard line. She's OK. Now she'll roll this in with a little bit of right top. These are the kind of shots, you amateurs, you want to put a little bit of spin on them. Don't shoot them without spin. She'll put a little bit of right on it, and that'll help cut the ball in, and she'll aim a little bit thick on it, like that, see? So you guys out there start playing a different way. So Prinska ties it up, 1-1. One, one. She's breaking from the right side, right bottom. Talking about all those athletes, I said last week they wouldn't give, uh, they wouldn't tell the weight of an athlete. They're talking about everybody, everybody's an athlete, but they never tell me the weight of the person. All right, scouting report on Earl Strickland. 59 years of age, six feet tall, 
160 pounds. My career record is a losing record, <laughs> which is everybody's important. No one finishes with a winning record in this game because it's that difficult. It's harder than golf, it's harder than tennis. Pool's a really, really hard game, I think. When it's set up right, it is. These tables are a little bit easy, I think. They're, the pockets are a little bit easy. You could hit this off the side rail and make it. My table is like, like I said, it's like sitting beside a swimming pool. Imagine what a table would play like sitting beside a swimming pool. It wouldn't play very good. If you run 100 balls on my pool table, you're, you're really something, I'll tell you. It's really hard to run 100 balls on my pool table because every, every shot skids. She'll kick this with some right and kind of hit it hard because she has nothing. She's got to make something happen. Wow, that's the unluckiest shot I've ever seen. That's one of my shots there. How could you do that? You could shoot that the rest of your life and couldn't do what she did there. <laughs> <It was okay. laughs> That's, pool's an amazing game. You see how hard it is? Did that happen to her? Right bottom and bounce off the rail. Some, table, uh, some conditions in pool, you, you got to know what you're dealing with. You know, you got to know if the conditions are good or bad or medium or okay. You know, uh, a lot of people have no idea even what the conditions are like. They don't know if the pool balls are brand new or 20 years old. They don't know the difference. She's just going to draw back, draw over, keep a little bit of angle. The best thing to do is draw all the way back down the table. Go two rails to the side rail, around the seven, and go all the way back to the bottom rail, and then come down for the six. That's what she's going to do, I'm sure. She'll hit this kind of hard with a lot of right bottom, swing back to that side rail like that, get back to the bottom rail. Now it's easy. You can just draw down the table. The shot would have been twice as hard if she would have stayed down here. And this shot still ain't easy to land right on. But it's easier than the other way. She'll use the rail. This is where you guys put a little spin on these, a little bottom, and use the rail. See how she did that? Nice. Let's see if she gets the angle. And she didn't. She landed straight. I told you it's a, a funny shot. It pulls a funny game, ain't it? Because you got all that space to land the ball, and it just lands right there. You know what I mean? Now, on my table, You'd be a dead person on this shot. It's, it would be a lot harder on my table. This table's a lot easier to get out of. She can draw out of it, actually, with a touch draw. That still came off a little bit, uh, a little dry, for sure. She's jacked up over the nine ball now. That makes this shot, that just elevates the difficulty on this shot. Anytime the cue ball goes against the rail or it goes over the top of another pool ball, you got to shoot over a pool ball, it, the shot gets almost twice as hard, especially if it's a long kind of a difficult shot with angle or something. This one ain't as hard as I've seen shooting over a pool ball. She actually is not completely right over it, so she's, that's good. She'll roll this with a little bit of right. She won't want much on it. That shows you how hard that shot is. Right there. It's a funny shot. There are a lot of funny shots in pool. People think pool is an easy game. Now look, she left her the same shot. And she's straight over the nine ball on this one. She won't put much spin on it. She's probably scared. She'll just hit it kind of with straight and let the rail put some spin on it. She hit that pretty good for being over the ball. That was a good shot. It's like she could just make it and bump into it and create something. Get the nine for the corner on the nine, the nine for the corner pocket on the left. The way we were looking last time. She missed it completely. I thought she should have tried to bump that, but she came out all right. 
Now she can uh, she got that kind of hard too. She can cut this in the side pocket. A little bit of right. Just roll it in with a little bit of right. And that's the proper way to shoot this shot. Like that, good shot. She takes the she takes the lead two to one. Ocean breaking from the right side, right bottom. And again, she doesn't make anything on the break. Hmm. Oh no, she did make a ball. All right, good. Yeah, eight balls. Eight pool balls. Be more specific when you talk about pool balls. But anyway, uh, looks like she's got a shot on for the corner. The eight's interfering somehow, though. She's gonna try to draw into the eight ball and stop the cue ball right there somehow. Maybe the two goes in the side, I think it does. It's a tough cut, but she can make it barely, I think. Just cut the two in the side, come across, and shoot the three in the same pocket. If she makes the two, that's probably what's gonna happen. Yeah, and pull, you can, you can play forever and get no results. Extension. You know, so don't tell me how hard some, something else is. I'm sick of people telling me how hard golf is and tennis and football and baseball. This game here is the hardest thing I've ever seen. She can just feather it in real lightly and come back and, oh, she played safe. That's the better shot, I'll tell you that right now. I didn't even know she was playing safe. Well, tell you the truth, when they showed me that last view of that two ball, I would have told you she was going to play safe because I saw it wouldn't go. <clears throat> when they give you that overhead and this here view, you can't tell if the pool ball goes in the pocket or not. So the, the, when they came right down and panned right on it, I could tell it wouldn't go. I should have called the safe. Okay. Excellent. This is a tough kick. She's got to kick it two rails and hit the two. She's got to hit near that diamond right there and hold it a little bit. She can't roll it either or it won't come off right. And I don't even know if she can hit this ball because it's going to boing and do something funny when it comes off the side rail over there. Okay. That's what I knew was going to, I thought was going to happen, something like that. That was a very difficult uh, kick to hit and that was a very well played safe. I'll tell you that. That's no joke. She put her in jail there. Now she's going to play the easy combination. She'll elevate the cue a little bit so she won't foul the cue ball. See that? So she doesn't push through. You amateurs need to watch what, when we you know, have a close shot like that, we elevate a little bit. 2-2, uh, two, two, Ocean ties it up. So Prince for the break, right side. This is a foul break. I think, pretty sure, because one ball went in, two balls went in. One ball went in, and, on, and not even one ball went back. So that's a foul break. She'll play the safety. She'll bank the two back and use the eight and the five, unless she can cut it in. Nope, she banked it back and used the eight and the five and the nine. I didn't get time to say the five and the nine. This is a hard kick. I hate this kick. This is my worst ball to kick at ever. I usually miss the whole ball. She wants to kick to the bottom rail or and hit it two rails or hit it one rail. I'm telling you, you can kick that, anybody can miss that kick. It's like the ball's like it's a BB or something all at once. But I think the best way to kick, but you'll scratch too if you hit the bottom rail and don't hit it right, you'll scratch. 
It's the craziest kick in the world. She's got ball in hand. Uh, she could be a member from here, but she might just bounce off and shoot the three down by the four and just roll down. That might be the best play. Just shoot this slow and just bounce off a little bit. Like that. I always mess that shot up, just like that. <laughs> and you say to yourself, how could you do it? How could you mess that shot up? And she has. She's messed up this whole thing now. I can tell you that right now. I've done it many times. She's got to, like, draw out now, or just slow roll in and, and play a longer shot on the four which that's going to be hard for her to hold shape on that five unless she decides to come down like that, but that ain't no good. She might get snookered. She didn't. That was a good shot. I didn't see that she had that much room right there either. That was the right shot. See, they didn't pan on this, and they didn't go to that overhead. That was the right shot to go down there. But it's still tricky to get to the five down. I don't know what she, she's got to draw around the table or, or run into the nine or just miss the nine. It still was. It didn't look like she could do that from that overhead. When, until they went down on pan in, then I could tell what she had she could do. Some of these views don't help me at all. This one's helpful. And see how much angle she's got. All she's got to do is make it because the cue ball is going to hit the nine and save her. Well, it didn't hit it. Wow. I believe she can't believe it didn't hit it either. Sometimes you think the cue ball is going to hit an object ball and it doesn't hit it. And you're so surprised. Like, this doesn't tell us how much angle she's got. It really doesn't. But it looks like she's okay. She can slow roll it in and bumped the seven, and she was. She was okay. Now she'll draw two rails and shoot the eight in the left, left corner pocket here. She'll draw this just a little bit with right. If you draw it too much, you amateurs draw this one in the corner because you draw too much. You gotta learn how to draw just a little. Oh, she's playing it in the side again, wow. Hmm. She was scared of it. I don't know why she was scared of the other shot. That's one thing about straight pull. I'll tell you, you can't be scared of no shot in straight pull. To be a, a really good straight pull player. That's all right. She actually came out all right there. Right bottom. Draw to the bottom rail. And then straight in the side. Maybe a little bit of right bottom or just straight bottom and stop. Good shot. Either way. 3-2, Ocean takes the lead. Breaking from the right side, right bottom. It's so hard. Straight pull is such a great game. It's a shame that we can't compete in it. There's no way to compete. It's such a hard game. It's intelligent, too. More intelligent than nine ball. Way more. Ah. But, no way to compete. All right, looks like she can just bank this ball and stop it right there and play the safe. I always screw this one up. When I see these shots, I've had a lot of them. Obviously, I've been playing 50 years. But this one's tricky to execute. She's going to stop the cue ball. Oh, she rolled it. That was smarter. I learned something from her there. I always try to bank that back down table. That was the best shot she did because she just went ahead and and made sure she got the safety. That was the smarter shot. I always try to stop it and bank it, get more distance between them. She's going to just jump over it and try to create something. 
This one looks a little tricky. And that stick's the luckiest stick I've ever seen. There it goes. Again. <laughs> I mean, look what she did there. She jumped it, hit it, and, and, and followed the cue ball down to the butt and froze it on the rail. If she would have, you would have asked her what she was going to do with that shot. There's no way she could have described it. That cue can do anything, but it's backwards what it does. It doesn't do anything right. It's, it's lucky. She's going to try to roll this in with speed and just make it like that. I thought she should have hit it easier. If she would have hit it a little easier, she would have stayed in the middle of the table. She hit that one a little bit hard. But I don't know if there's any future in shooting at this shot. I remember the time I would warp this one in, maybe, but I'm looking to duck now, probably. Maybe she can fire it in. These right. pockets are generous. I can tell you that. And she's going to cross it. Turn the cue ball. That's a good shot. That's a, look at that. She sent the cue ball right back where it was. Trapped her. Wow. What a shot that was. That was a little bit of a, a good shot and some luck, obviously. She had no idea the ball was going to line up there, and neither did I, and, and none of you did well either. But there's literally nothing she can do is just Dark. two rails or past the, uh, the five and try to hit it. Two, three rails, actually, like that. That wasn't a bad try, was it? Actually, she could have hit that ball. Z just nipped the two and then put her behind the five. That's what Ephraim would have done. He would have kicked two rails, three rails, nipped the two, throws you behind the five. <laughs> All right, so just draw straight back. I think the three goes past the four. Straight back down the table. See how nice the ball draws on this table? Because it's nice and dry. And the rails are nice and live, which is a good combination. If this table was wet, it wouldn't be for no fun for these girls at all. Right bottom, and she'll just draw off lightly like that, see? A straight top, come down the table. She probably needs an extension on the cue or needs a bridge. Well, she got the extension on the cue. All right, straight top, come down the table. We're left top, two rails, play safe. If I would have said left top, she'd have went straight down the table. All right. She can come out and play the seven in the same corner or shoot slow and play the seven in the other corners or play on the side. Good, the first one. <laughs> uh, now she'd just shoot and stop right there. She cues real low. I'll tell you that. Very low. And that was kind of weird, uh, what happened there. She didn't. It, the, sometimes I think her strokes are off uh, key a little bit. Left top, probably, or she can draw it. She'll just roll it with left top. Go back and forth like that. I can't tell with her. She cues so low, and her strokes are a little bit... Uh, a little strong for me. All right, 4-2, Ocean leads. Saprinska is breaking from the right side. And she's going to have another foul break. No, two balls in. Okay, that's a, that's a legal break. Two balls in and one ball back. Wow. Your genius is all I know. <laughs> I, can't, I could never break. A, I would foul every break, I think. Because I ain't going to make nothing. All right, she's got the bridge. 
She's going to thin it or bank it back. I don't know which one. Okay. Bank it back, put it behind the seven. Good shot. I don't, I think it just barely, it's a rough leave if she didn't get her, I'll tell you that. It's a rough shot to get position on. I think she might can just see the edge of the ball or she can see the whole ball. She can actually jump it in. Can she draw back though? That's the key. She's gotta make the key ball come back. No. And she got lucky. Extremely lucky there with that. I don't ever, when I do something like that, I leave them a straight in shot. She'll thin this and come around Again, or bank it behind, down behind the, yep, she went around like I said to start with. I think the right shot there was to bank the two back down behind the five and the nine and the, and all that crap down there. The five, what is that, the four, nine, five. I think if she would have banked the two, two rails back down there, it might have been the prudent play that time. You know, there's always a lot of avenues to those safeties, so give yourself the best chance to play the, I mean, play the right safety if you can. I don't know if the four goes. It don't look, doesn't look like it'll go. Six is in the way. The nine's in the way of it a little bit. I think, yeah, it might go if she lands just right down there. Maybe she can draw back. No, she's following. That's a good view of it right there. See how she's going just above center. She's playing safe. That's a smart shot because there was no way to pocket the four ball, I think. She's played some smart shots on safety, I'll tell you that. That might be the best part of her game is the safeties so far. And here again, she's just going to try to jump it and put some distance between the two and the cue ball or get a safety somewhere. Or make it. Look at that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that cue. Oh, man. You just want to bite those cues in two. I'll tell you, they're, they're really pesky things, those jump sticks. She looks like she can kick it, though. She's in the six balls there. She hits it thick, it might go off the six, or she could hit it clean, or get some kind of safe. And she did, she got a little bit of a safe, but I think Saprinska can draw her right behind the, the four ball and bank the two, two rail. Or she can, yeah, she can. She'll just stop it like, and bank the ball two rails. Good shot. I don't know. Can't tell with her overhead if she snookered or not. I think she is. You notice she didn't go for too much there. Some of these safeties, I, I, have, I admire the way they played some of these safeties where they don't go for too much. And that's what you want to do in safeties. And I, I, they played some smart safeties, I'll tell you that. I'm learning something from them. <laughs> Here's uh, Jasmine Ocean jumping with the jump. Oh, she hit it. She fouled the ball. Didn't get over it. Maybe the clock got her, rushed her. That never happens to a golfer, talking about how they're athletes and they take all day to putt or do anything. If they were really on a clock, they would faint, all of them. They would shoot 80 and 79 and 82. Straight top, she's going to put on this and bounce off the rail. Remember, I always tell you to get the cue ball off the rail. See how she did that? Always get the cue ball off the rail a little bit, you guys out there playing on the weekends and playing in your basements. I'll tell you right now, if you're playing in a basement, you got double extra duty on keeping a table dry. A little bit of right top on that. See how she checked it back out for the five? Trying to get to a four or three. This is a big game for her. But if you've got a pool table in a basement, beware, I'll tell you. And 
the laundry room is next to it. Uh, my basement is nice. It's just the laundry room's down there. And we haven't turned the air on yet. So they don't turn the air on in New Jersey until, like, middle of June. So they say it's not the south. It's a little bit different. I'm used to running the air conditioner all the time, really. But left bottom on this one and draw over. Or if the eight's dead, I don't know if the eight's dead, she can draw back to the middle of the table. I think she needs to draw over and play the seven in the same corner she did. She hit that nice. That's not an easy shot. Here she might have to run into the eight. This looks like a straight pull shot here. And then she's drawing. Maybe she can draw out of it lightly and then shoot the eight in the same corner or hit it hard and go around it. I think she's doing the, or bump it. Wow, she did both. She went around it and bumped the ball at the same time. I, that's pretty amazing. I don't think she, that was what she was planning, but it turned out okay. Now she can draw back or force it with left and go forward off the rail or come straight down. I think she'll force, draw back with left, with right. I don't like the overhead camera. It doesn't tell me nothing. She's all right here. Right bottom. Hit this one. You got to hit these kind of firm so they hold the line. Even these little shots like that. See how she stunned it away? All right. Four, three, Jasmine Ocean leads. Breaking from the right side. She made a ball this time, and she fouled the break. Amazingly. Yeah. Unless that ball's touching the line, she may have just got it. Nope, it's a fouled break. Wow. I did that in the Moscone Cup. The same break, identical, and lost the match on it. I wanted to throw up. I did, just like that, identical. I made one ball and one ball didn't get, just got right there. She'll just draw back on this, the two's right there by the nine, a little right bottom, that'll send the cue ball out into the table, a little bit of right on it. See that? She didn't put enough right on that, because now she's going the wrong way. But she's got the nine there, it's okay, she can bump right into the nine. But she should have put more right on that to spin out. Unless she's straight in, she doesn't have to go over. She's kind of straight, too. I can't tell. She'll put left on it. Yeah, she was all right. Stay away from the nine. But this table is very conducive to good play. It's real dry. The, ball, the cue ball draws easy. The table breaks nice. Left. I think she'll hit this with left middle like and or, and or draw it back. She's got to get for the side. Stun off the rail like that. Left middle, yeah. Stun off the rail. Now she'll just draw straight towards the nine. This shot, I hate this shot. But on this table, I could do it a lot better. This shot in Florida is really hard to execute. To draw the cue ball right near the nine without going too far or too less. This shot's harder than you think. Oh, she didn't want to risk it. You see that? She didn't want to risk drawing over like that. That's a smart play, too. <laughs> I'm always trying to be a hero. All right, she'll just roll this in and stay right there or come across the seven. Looks like it goes past the nine. I don't know exactly what pocket she's playing for now. That's exactly what I thought. The seven had to go past the nine. She played the smartest way, the, 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 the safest way. I'll tell you that, this rack. The nine's still as big as a beach ball right now. It's kind of, you know, playing interference on this out, this whole pattern right now. The nine ball's been in the way. She's going to stop right there. She doesn't want to take no more risk on this rolling up. Stop there, take a tougher cut. She knows the pockets are nice and generous, and that's smart. Not to try to do too much with these position plays. Now she'll just make this one. 
nice and slow with some right and come out and shoot the nine on the side. Good shot. She played very smart there, I gotta admit. She'll just stop right there. Tied it up, Soprinska's tied it up, 4-4. Four, four. She's breaking from the right side, right bottom. Drawing the cue ball to the side rail. She's got a ball in, and she's got two back, and she's got a shot. Wow. This girl is steady. I've done one of her matches so far, and she surprised me in that one, too. All right, straight top. She'll go back and forth. This kind of shot, you want to hit it just a little bit. Always want to hit this shot just a little. See how she hit it just a little? She actually made sure that she was going to get a back over and get off the rail. She over hit it. That was a good play. See that? Instead of just trying to fit it perfect, she over hit it and made sure she got in the middle of the table. This shot is tricky. See how she's sitting in the middle, but she wants to hit it hard. That'll make it straighten out when it goes down there. See how it's straightened out? That ball whiffles when you hit it. But you've got to hit that one kind of hard. That was a good shot. She landed perfect. She's got to play the four in the corner. One of the corner. Yeah. I think the one on the left here. She'll just roll it in lightly with some left. Real slow. Unless she's going to come back and try to do something else. No, she's going to play for that corner, I said, right down there. She's playing beautifully, I'll tell you that. Like I said, this table is, I could probably run a thousand balls on it, probably, the way it looks to me. She's going to stun this one forward, or roll forward, easy. Good shot, nice and smooth. She might not have rolled far enough. She wanted a little more angle on that six ball, but you can't tell on this overhead how much she's got. But she's got enough. She'll put right top on it and, and, and bounce off the rail and come back and play the seven in the other corner over here. Oh, she drew it. She didn't want it. She didn't have enough angle to follow it. She's all right, though. I wish they'd have gave me that angle to start with. I wouldn't know she was drawing it. She'll put left top on this and go two rails. This shot can always be missed because it skids or something if you don't watch out. But it won't do that on this table. God, she landed right on top of the ball. That was a mistake. She's actually straight in. But I don't think she can make the ball without fouling the, without fouling the eight ball. She'll have to thin the ball and play safe behind the nine somehow. Yeah, that two rail shot is a funny shot. I've messed that shot up right. a thousand Next times time. at least, the one she just shot. But my table, it'll skid that shot. Looks like she could put some right on it and like bump it a little and it'll check the rail and go over behind the nine. But I can't tell unless they really just pan right in and let me get a bird's eye view on it. Time. Like I said, it's almost straight in, but she can't play it because she'll foul the ball. She tried to put it behind the nine like that. And that's a, not a bad play. And that's a brilliant play. She can't see the edge of the ball. She's gonna have to kick the ball. God, she hit that. That was genius there. I'll tell you that. The girls play a lot of nice shots, too. She's going to go two rails, look like. I would kick this with a lot of spin the other way, maybe, from one rail, from the bottom rail. Okay. She's going to try to do something two rails. And that ain't a bad shot, because she's going to leave it a tough cut. But these pockets are generous. Now, there's just a lot of tables this would be a good shot on, but this ain't one of them. Because you can still scrub the rail and, uh, and make this shot. 
The only way you could miss it is to overcut it like that, literally. She's actually got safe, though. That actually wasn't a bad shot. <laughs> uh, Jasmine's looking at that going, wow. That's what I would be doing, too. But she can thin, thin the ball, I guess, and go back around. This shot's tricky, too. You'll sell out if you don't hit it right. I've seen all these shots so many times. I know what's going to happen to you if you don't execute them. Unless she's got something else there, I can't see. Oh, she's going to bank it back down. I'll tell you what, that was well done. Well done. Put her right over to nine, too. That makes this shot harder. She'll thin the eight with spin and use all the rails. She, or she might go with just two rails. Oh, no, she sold out. Or I don't know what she was doing there. She was in a bad spot. Once I saw that view on it there, I, it was harder than it looked. She should have thinned the right side of the ball somehow on that shot, that last shot. Well, Jasmine's got to put a little bit of the right top or go past the sides. Wow, she way overcut it. That's the first ball I've seen do that in a long time. Since I've been commentating these matches. Usually those pockets swallow that ball right up. She's surprised that it hung up too. <laughs> wow, she can't reach it. She might have to put left bottom and draw off the side rail. Or clip it and go around the side rails like, like that. I don't like that because it gets away from you. That was a hard shot with the bridge. If she could reach that was a disadvantage, that's for sure. This is not an easy shot right here. You really want to draw this, or she's going to stun it, looks like. See how she's sitting in the middle with left? She's going to pop it like, she's not going to roll it. She's going to pop it like that. That was well done. That was the right way to shoot that shot. I'm impressed with the way she shoots a lot of shots. Sopreska leads. Saprinska leads 5-4, ocean breaking from the right side, right bottom. But I've been watching a lot of tennis lately. They're really hitting the ball good, those tennis players. They really are great athletes. I still can't figure out why tennis players don't have pool as a hobby and golfers don't have pool as a hobby. I always had golf and tennis as a hobby. Why don't they have pool as a hobby? They hate pool that bad. They must be jealous is all I know. Right bottom, she's going to draw to the side rail or use the eight. Nope, draw to the side rail like that. Good shot. You always got to call two or three different things in pool or maybe more, four or five. There might be four or five different ways to play shape on a ball or position. She's going to stun this, I think. Just stun it like two rails. Right. No, she's stunned straight off. Yeah. Every time I think she's going to do something, she'll do the other thing. That was a good shot, the way she hit that. I don't like shooting that shot that way. I like using the two rails. I can control the speed of the shot better the other way. She could shoot this in the corner or the side. I think she's shooting it in the corner. And she can play the court four past the nine, and then the six in the side, and then the seven in the same corner she just shot the three in. That's how it should go, it looks like, from here. Of course, I still don't know if I'm any good at this. And I'm never going to say, I don't even know if I'm any good at pool anymore, to tell you the truth. It's getting harder to run 100 balls, but my table plays like, it, like somebody died on it. He's going to shoot and stop. It's a beautiful table, but it plays strange and difficult. I, of course, I got the pockets flanged much differently than this table. She'll, she shoots awful low and then comes up. 
That's what she does. Did you see that? I don't actually do that. I'll cue right where I want to hit the ball, kind of, a lot of times. Now, if I'm going to hit a, a shot with a lot of bottom, I'll be extremely low. But she cues like that on every shot and then comes up. She's going to stun this one, too, do a little like that. And she's overhit that. Now, that's where her strokes are playing a role. She's overhitting because she's jabbing the cue too much. That's a critical mistake right there at this stage of the match. I mean, she don't need to miss the nine ball. All right, she's going to roll it in with straight top, cut it in the corner. Extension. There's no scratch. You don't want to put any spin on this for you weekend guys out there, weekend players. Don't put any spin on this particular shot. Just straight ball. It'll go straight to the side rail and straight to the other side rail. Good shot. Very good. Ocean ties it up. High five. Sopresca breaking from the right side, right bottom. This is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. Another good break. It's kind of strange that she doesn't have as much power as Ocean, but she makes more balls. That's the oddest thing about pool to me. Is it doesn't take power all the time. It takes just the right hit, you know? Weird. But I'd like to have plenty of power. <laughs> all right, she's going to use the bridge here. and I, I don't know if she's going to follow out or draw. I think she's going to draw back, maybe. Right. Try to draw back a little bit. Yeah. Because the six is not too tough of a shot with the combination because it's sitting right in the hole. But she's still got to pay attention. And she probably is, is going to slow roll this. She's not going to hit it very hard. I don't know. You could hit it either way. If you hit it hard, it may stay right there, too. Kind of hard, like. Like that, but then she didn't want to draw back like that. Oh, that was a killer. Hmm. I think she'll have to play safe now. Just put a lot of spin on it and use the five and the nine. A lot of right on it. Shoot it real slow. Just use the five and the nine. Just like that. She's, I'll tell you what now. She's worked hard on her safeties. And she knows the speed of them. Because that shot, you, you, you got to know the speed on that shot. That's the key to that particular safety, is the speed and the spin. She did everything right, textbook on that shot. Uh, she's got to kick two rails, because there's no other. Uh, I don't like this. Well, she could get safe. That's right. I see it now. She could kick the ball, and the cue ball would kill a little. It would knock it over here to the side rail and use the nine and the five again. She could use the nine and the five. Or it might make it, too. That's why I didn't like that shot. I did. I've had that shot, too. I always sell out on it. But she kind of underhit that. I think that particular shot, you got to hit a little bit harder. But I don't know. She'll just draw back a little, I think, here. Or just stop there. Because she wants to keep the angle going out into the table. And she's perfect. And these pockets are sweet. She can hit it to the side rail and still make it. There's nothing hard about this shot right here at all. On my table? This is a hard shot. If you just touch the rail, because she's got to hit it with a little bit of speed. If you just touch the rail on my table with this, it won't go. Time. She didn't touch the rail that time. That was a good, clean shot. But she still knows it'll go in, no matter how you hit it. All right, she can follow this or draw it. I think she'll draw it back just a little. 
This table is very conducive to the draws. See how nice you can do the touch draws here. You can't do that on my table. You can't unless I armor all the bed or the cue ball. You, uh, the touch draw on my table don't exist. <laughs> Straight top. But like I said, my table's in a basement with the laundry room, and we don't have the air on yet. So there's a lot of conditions playing a lot of roles against it. She played nice there, shoot and stop. Six five, I think. So. Jasmine Ocean breaking from the right side, right bottom. No, not the scratch. She made a ball, got the balls back. I think that's her brother, Alvin. Two balls back, one down with a shot. Left bottom, she'll draw back and try to play the combination on the... Oh, oh there it goes. She's going to cut the two. I thought she would have followed that if she was going to play for the corner. She's going to... These pockets are sweet. They can just land anywhere they want, they feel like, I think. Uh, on my table, that shot, you'd be, a, you're in a coffin there, I'm telling you. But anyway, uh, I wanted to say thanks again to Mark Gregory at uh, Perfect Park Pockets Sorry. for my table. It's, it's a very table. See how that went right off the rail? You could, you could shoot a football in there. That wouldn't have went on my ball, my table would hang that right up. But, uh, it's a beautiful table, but like I said, it's sitting like it's sitting at a swimming pool. It's in a bad spot. Straight top on this, maybe a little bit of left, just to miss that eight. This will be a good, exciting finish here if she can tie it up, 6-6. Six, six. And she'll just draw back a little. I hate this shot. In my table, you don't know how far it's going to go. It might go an inch, or it might go a foot, or it might go three feet. But you couldn't draw it a few inches like that. You couldn't do that. <laughs> it won't let you do that. <laughs> oh, but I like it. Like I like trying to run a hundred balls where every ball is skidding. <laughs> Not one ball is like actually making a clean contact. But uh, she'll stun off the rail and shoot the seven in the left hand corner over here. That's the right shot. And she. Under hit it a little bit, but it still doesn't matter. As sweet as these pockets are, I don't see her missing this shot. If even if it touches that side rail, now my table, if you touch that side rail, it's curtains right here on this shot. If you touch that side rail, but I don't think she is because it looked a little easier. Yeah, you can forget about it. <laughs> that would never go. That ain't. A, no way, your curtains on my table. <laughs> uh, I like that though. I like the skid. I like the, the test of that little bit of gamesmanship with myself. Uh, some of these players, they'll clean the whole building before they shoot. She'll just roll this in with a little bit of right, try to miss the nine and come back. And play for the corner somehow. And she's got perfect. Here again, you could shoot this into the side rail and still make it. My table, no way. If, if you just touch that side, if you touch that side rail, it, it won't go. That one didn't move. Good shot. But uh, six six, tied up. So Prince could break in from the right side. She's got a ball in, two balls back, and no shot. Maybe some kind of kick safety or a rollout. Yeah, I've been trying for a, a week to run 100 balls. It's been a week now I haven't run 100 balls. I've run 80 something. I run 90 something in one day, got the 96 or something. Uh, and uh, missed. 
Missed the break ball at 90, 98. Twice I missed the break ball. I told you she was going to kick that. Oh, she got unlucky. It landed right in front of the hole. It didn't have to land there. If it would have just hit the bottom rail or something and bounced back, a little unlucky. But like I said, I like, but I'll clean the cue ball. I'm cleaning the cue ball a little more now with just my hands. No solutions, no armor all. Once in a while, I'll put some on the table just to feel like I can still play. <laughs> These tables, the way they play now, uh, you have to really clean the cue ball all the time in this country. If, if uh, the table's going to play right, you have to keep the cue ball clean. Right top or right bottom, she's just gonna draw off a little, a touch draw, like that. That ball checked a lot. I thought it would go down table more. Unless she hit it with inside. She hits, she cues very low all the time on just about every shot. She'll just stop right there. Maybe she's got the perfect angle. She might have to move the cue ball over just a little with right. I can't tell. Yep, with right, just move the ball just a little. That gives her the right angle to stun over for the six ball. And speaking of about that stun shot, since I've been playing straight pull for the last month, I've stunned a trillion shots. You got it really, uh, if, you, if you're gonna be a good straight pull player or a great straight pull player, just you really got to know how to stun the cue ball in that game. She'll just stun or she drew back because she didn't have the angle. They didn't show me that until the last moment there. She didn't have any angle at all. She's lucky she could. There, if you would have done that in 1970s, they would have killed you. You couldn't walk up and clean the cue ball. It was against the pool walls and pool rules. <laughs> Uh, you, if you'd ask a guy to clean the cue ball in some bar in 1974 or three, he would have shot you or something, killed you. <laughs> All right, she'll just stun this over with left middle. Another stun shot. Or she'll roll it. She like rolled it and she overhit it. Wow. That's crazy. She was supposed to stun that ball out, not roll it, because it wasn't rollable. You understand? But she's still okay. She can draw two rail, two rails, but she might run into the nine. I think unless she, it, it looks like on the overhead, she can't beat the side pocket with the draw. But then when they pan back down, it looks like she can. Maybe she can draw past the side, just beat the nine, three rails, and get on the eight. So it looks like that's what she has to do. Or she can hit it with inside and kill the ball somehow. Hmm. Time. The overhead. It's like she's banking or something. Wow. She tried to bank and play safe. Or get on the ball, the two-way shot. The old two-way shot. Here's another one of those stun shots. Or draw it into the nine. This girl's been steely, I'll tell you that, with these stuns and these long ones. And she did it again. Good shot. Stunned right over. So you, all you players out there trying to get better at pool, better start spinning the ball and stunning more. And don't roll a ball when you suppose to, when you should stun it like Ocean just did. Straight, a little bit of right top, I think, and just go two rails back for the nine. Oh, she drew back. Good shot. That's a nice shot too. Oh, I forgot how conducive this table is. <laughs> nice shot, uh, Olivia. Beautiful. A little bit of left bottom, just stop right there. There it is. I have you know. 
76, Olivia Zafrenska. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to the Billiard Network for more great pool action from around the world. I'm Earl Strickland saying goodbye.